A clash between pro-Russian demonstrators and police in eastern Ukraine is another sign the crisis is deepening. Russia's decision to go ahead with Sunday's referendum for Crimea to secede from Ukraine triggered a quick U.S. response. President Obama ordered more sanctions, freezing the U.S. assets of seven Russian officials and four Ukrainians who helped destabilize Ukraine. We are imposing sanctions on specific individuals responsible for undermining the sovereignty, territorial integrity, and government of Ukraine. We're making it clear that there are consequences for their actions. Russian President Vladimir Putin is not among those named, but the list includes some of his top advisors and others U.S. officials describe as Russian government cronies. U.S. officials hope the sanctions, along with a drop in the Russian stock market and a falling currency, will cause Moscow to change course in Crimea. President Obama warns there could be more sanctions on the way. Going forward, we can calibrate our response based on whether Russia chooses to escalate or to de-escalate the situation. Now, I believe there's still a path to resolve this situation diplomatically in a way that addresses the interests of both Russia and Ukraine. The U.S. wants Russia to pull its troops in Crimea back to their bases, allow international monitors, and open dialogue with the Ukrainian government. There is no sign Russia is budging, and the concern is that after the referendum, its next move may be to annex Crimea. In the meantime, Ukraine's parliament on Monday approved a plan to mobilize 40,000 reservists. Luis Ramirez, BOA News, at the White House.